playing alone is very limited and it's just for certain type of people. I can play alone and enjoy myself, but never as much as I can play with the interaction of other players. I've always been a fan of the American Songbook and American Standards, which a lot of jazz is based. I'm modeled after Frank Morocco because I love the way he plays, and you always know where he's at in relation to the melody. Frank Morocco ended up more famous here in Los Angeles for his studio playing than his jazz playing. Starting with Dr. Zhivago, he was on that. That was his first big movie. And he did commercials, he did The Simpsons, he did uh, Ratatouille was a huge one for him. And he got tons of residuals and, and made a really good living, but not till he was in his early 50s. He did have a, a wonderful renaissance the last five years of his life where he was able to do concerts all over Europe and Brazil and Russia and China and Lithuania and Japan. We became not only a teacher and student, but great friends too. The last couple years, we would just jam. And by osmosis, my uh, improvisation skills just got better. gave to me everything he could when he was alive, musically. You know, he didn't hold nothing back. And then even after he passed away, um, because of our relationship, um, I was able to uh, play one of his concerts in Kiev and play concerts in, in Italy um, and, and establish a reputation now as one of the better jazz players in, in the States. It's a very physical instrument that you actually hold up against your body and hug, for lack of a better word, moving the air in and out like you're breathing just about. Frank used to say the bellows are the soul of the accordion, and if you didn't have good control of your bellows, you weren't gonna get the sound that you wanted, and uh, you would never get the accordion to speak.